If you think that the work of a data scientist consists of just training machine learning models, think again. Once you have a model, you still need to manage it. That means deploy, monitor, update, and in some cases, retrain it. If you have two, three models, that is easy to do manually. But if you have to retrain 1500 models, then automation and scaling might become important. Today, we talk about a model management application developed using NIME Analytics Platform and NIME Server, the Monster Model Factory. For our project, we need to apply an established modeling process to train, test, and optimize machine learning models for more than 1,500 datasets with up to 40,000 rows each. And first, we partition the data by random split into training and test sets. Then we train four machine learning models and optimize them using five features. And we repeat it 10 times. That means we'll build over 300,000 models. And aside from building the models for each dataset, we also need to access the data, pre-process them, select the best models, and then deploy them. This is the monster problem we are dealing with. Here is the final orchestration workflow, which we named Monster Model Factory, because of its monster character. It all starts here, in the lower part of the workflow, where we initialize the whole model management process by specifying the meta information necessary to automate the process, such as the dataset IDs, the workflows implementing the process steps, the scoring criteria, and the URL of NIME server used for the execution. Here, we define the workflows for the individual process steps. We incorporated three workflows as individual steps in the model factory load, transform, and train and score. The model factory triggers the execution of these workflows on NIME server via a set of call remote workflow nodes. These nodes are encapsulated in the corresponding gray meta nodes. Let's explore these workflows in detail. In the load step meta node, we use a call remote workflow node to trigger the execution of the corresponding workflow on NIME server. This workflow extracts the data from the SQL copy of Campbell database. For some datasets, this operation can take up to several hours because of the complexity of the SQL queries. Next, we trigger the execution of the transform workflow. This workflow uses the RTKit Chemoinformatics extension to pre-process the chemical structures and compute chemical fingerprints. The next part is the most computationally intensive, the train and score workflow. This workflow trains models with four different machine learning algorithms and optimizes all four of them with a parameter optimization procedure. This train step is repeated 10 times. Next, the trained models are scored using the test data and the model with the highest performance is picked for deployment. This happens in the last meta node where we save the best models and their statistics along with statistics of all models that were generated in the trained workflow. During execution, the Monster Model Factory workflow communicates with its individual process step workflows via JSON interface. Now that we've automated the modeling process for a single dataset, let's scale it up to our Monster project with 1500 sets. To run the Monster Factory, we use the distributed executors on NIME server installed on the AWS Auto Scaling Group. The Auto Scaling Group option Let's you scale out the individual jobs by initiating additional executors when the CPU load reaches a certain limit. In this setup, NIME server is connected to the queuing system that picks up the requests sent by the model factory, queues the jobs, sends them to the executors, and then returns them to the server. In the model factory itself, we have added a parallel chunk loop around the workflows, implementing the modeling process steps. This runs multiple jobs in parallel on separate executors. Let's see how it works live. Here is my local installation of NIME Analytics Platform. And I'm connected to NIME Server. And here I see the workflow repository for the Monster Model Factory. Here is the master workflow. Here are the process workflows in the templates folder. For this demo, I'm using preloaded data. It's available here in the folder Training Data. Let's start the Monster Model Factory. The 
factory starts executing by launching the job for the master workflow. In a few seconds, it triggers execution of the process step workflows. I have allocated four cores to this process, so we see four jobs running in parallel here. Once a job is finished, the factory starts the next job in the queue. And so on. During the execution of the factory, the temporary files are stored in the temp folder. They are removed once the new instance of the factory starts. Here I'm generating the models for a small number of datasets, and I can see results for each set in the meta info folder. In the details data folder, we find statistics for all the models generated during the train step. And the output data folder contains the final best model for each dataset. Now the factory has finished executing and the final results are summarized in two tables, bioactivity model selected and bioactivity model stats. To sum up, we have shown how to automate the model building process with NIME Analytics Platform and to scale it to build thousands of models in feasible time using NIME Server Distributed Executors.